Hey folks, Stephen Butcher, aka Coach Mongo Smash, here with Butcher Barbell for another technique tip. Uh, this week we're going to, instead of going into actual technique on the movement, uh, because we are still in the COVID-19 lockdown, I'm going to give you a mobility uh, drill to do uh, over the next couple of weeks so that when you come back to lifting, your overhead position and your front rack position are both a little bit improved. So. What we're going to do is we're going to, this drill's done with a PVC pipe, uh, and I'm going to show you kind of the same drill three different ways. The first one is a basic front rack opener. Most of us know this. If you've ever been in a CrossFit gym or been in any weightlifting gym, your coach has probably shown you this. Um, and that's, I'm going to take the PVC pipe, and the easiest way to set up is I'm going to take one end and hold it here. I'm gonna kick the PVC pipe behind me, make sure I don't hit the ceiling. And I'm gonna grab here, I'm gonna pull down, and I'm gonna push the elbow out. I'm gonna mimic my front rack uh, for the jerk and the squat here, okay? Now, this is a great way to open up the front rack position, but I wanna get a little bit more out of this drill uh, or out of this type of a stretch. What I also wanna be able to do is open up my overhead position, okay? So open up external rotation overhead. So for that, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna set up the same way here. So this drill would be used to open up front rack. Instead, I'm gonna come across the body. So I'm gonna come elbow in front. So this is what it would look like from the side. And then I'm gonna just go into external rotation this way. Okay, so the PVC pipe now is coming up across the body instead of out away from me okay so that's two now for both of these the third option is how we will use this drill in our warm-up okay we don't want to do static stretching in our warm-up science has shown repeatedly that uh long bouts of static stretching before strength training can decrease uh, our strength or decrease uh, the strength output that we have. Instead, what we want to do is kind of a contract relax or a PNF um, type of stretch where I'm going to uh, contract against the PVC pipe for about three seconds, relax for about three seconds, and then stretch for about three seconds. And you do that about five, anywhere between five and ten times. So what would that look like with this stretch. So I'm going to set up again. I'm going to come into my external rotation stretch here. What I'll do is I'll bend and I'm going to try and flex the PVC pipe around my humerus. So I'm going to contract three, two, one, relax, three, two, one, stretch, three, two, one, and then come back to start. Contract, three, two, one, Relax, three, two, one. Stretch, three, two, one, okay? Now a couple of things to note here. When you're doing this stretch, you wanna feel this in the shoulder and in the lat uh, beginning to open up, okay? If I'm coming across the body, I'm gonna feel the back of the shoulder begin to open up. If I'm coming out in front, so if I'm doing the stretch front rack style this way, I should feel more tricep and more lat. If I'm feeling any of this at the elbow, I'm in the wrong position or I'm over stretching and I need to back off a little bit. You should not be giving yourself golfer's elbow with this movement, all right? So let's be very clear on that. Um, when I'm doing this, this movement pops in almost every day for me or this drill pops in almost every day for me in my warmups. I do about a minute of the contract relax each side uh, in either the external rotation manner if I'm doing snatches or in the front rack manner if I'm doing clean and jerks. Often what I'll actually do is if I have snatch and clean and jerk in the same workout, I will do my external rotation stretch first before the snatches. And then, because usually I take about a three to five minute break before my last, or between my last snatch and my first clean and jerk, I will do the front rack stretch one minute per side during that time. 
This is a great drill and a great movement to work on during the COVID-19 lockdown. I hope you all are still continuing to stay safe and stay healthy and above all, keep lifting. If you have any questions or you're looking for any technique tips for future Sundays, please leave a comment below in the comment section, send me a direct message or uh, post it in one of your stories if I'm following you and I'll try in hashtag Sunday technique tips or hashtag butcher barbell. I'll find it and I'll see what I can do to answer the question. Listen guys, thanks for hanging in here this long. Again, Stephen Butcher with Butcher Barbell. I'll see you guys next week.